everyone, it's Shanti for The Rough Cuts. I hope all of you have been doing well. Today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite films from Fantastic Fest, and that is Love and Peace. This was written and directed by Sion Sono, who, did I talk about Why Don't You Play in Hell on this channel? I don't remember if I did or not. That was another film I saw from Fantastic Fest a couple of years ago. But, um... This one, he actually wrote a long, long time ago when he was still a student, and he had just been kind of putting it off until now, when he finally had time to make it. And it is wonderful, and it's the perfect movie for, like, the holidays. I love Christmas, I love holiday time, and this is the perfect film for that. So what you have, you have, um... Actually, the star from Why Don't You Play It in Hell, Hiroki Hasegawa, he stars in this. And his character, Kyo, is basically a loser. If you ever watch, you know, like a, a lot of, like, Japanese films, even, like, animation, where you have the storyline, where you just have the loser guy, no one likes him, every place he goes, even people that don't know him pick on him, that is this guy. Everybody hates him apart from this one kind of dorky girl that he works with. They like each other, but they're both too, like, low on the totem pole to really tell each other that they like each other. So it's, it's that sort of situation, but it's really endearing and charming. Anyway, so one day he befriends this turtle, a little baby turtle that someone is selling on the roof of the building where he works. And this turtle becomes his best friend. He names him Picadon after, like, the atomic bomb, which has its own little, like, backstory to that. But he adores this turtle, and, you know, the, his co-workers hate him to the point to where they force him to flush the turtle down the toilet. And then the turtle ends up in this little pocket of the sewer system that's sort of like... Like, I hate to say the, the land of misfit toys, but it kind of is. So they're all down there with this old drunk man who's played by Toshiyuki Nishida. And he brews up these magic pellets, giving them to all of the toys and pets so that they have the ability to speak. However, he gives the wrong one to the turtle. So now Picadon is able to not really speak. He makes little little cooing noises that are really cute, but he's able to grant wishes. And he grants all of the wishes of Kyo, because that's who he loves, and that's who he knows, even though he was discarded by him. So because of this, all of his big wishes, everything that he's ever dreamed of, you know, being a rock star, having, you know, like, his loves love him back, they all start to come true, and it gets really out of hand, and everything gets out of hand and starts to blow up. So that's basically, that's the premise of this film, and it takes off from there. So there's a lot of music in this because, you know, he does become a rock star. So you have a lot of original songs. You also have one of the songs from What Do You Play in Hell? But this is really... A sweet movie which is kind of odd considering who directed it and who wrote it because most of his movies you wouldn't really call sweet but this is this is actually a family film and it's wonderful and delightful and when watching it people around me were actually crying because they were just so touched and moved by this and it was just great to see. Like, you leave the theater and you feel so good and happy because it's just a really, really charming film. It's a bit long. I think it's well over two hours long. But it's it's so worth it. I, I love this. I love this film. It's so sweet. And, um, yeah, so it's family-friendly. The practical effects. So there isn't any CGI in this. Over the top and ridiculous as many of the things are, there's no CGI, it's all practical. Even with as huge as Picadon gets, and he does, I think um, at one point it was described as Babe meets Godzilla. 
and it's just it's really endearing so th this has been out in Japan since I think June but I don't believe it's been picked up in the US so like, if you get a chance to see this either at a film festival or a special screening in your town maybe even like somewhere on DVD check this out it's definitely worth it and it's great for the holidays it's a great Christmas movie so love and peace it's also a great song that they sing a lot in this. In fact, in the theater beforehand, he he taught us all the words so we could all sing along to it. But it's a lot of fun. I know I've said this before, but it is. It's so sweet and charming and endearing. Definitely give this one a go. Love and Peace by Sion Sono. I will see you next time. Until then, goodbye.